when you are changing a room, and this is a big, this is actually a big deal in healthcare, something that I find very frequently, just lack of general knowledge around this. So uh, chapter 43 of NFPA 101, um, our 2012 edition, and in there, it specifically talks about change of use or change of occupancy. And there's some uh, clear criteria in there that tell us when we have to follow the new code, meaning chapter 18 for hospitals uh, and healthcare occupancies, or chapter 19, which is our existing. And those, the, the criteria is different. The biggest uh, issue that I see uh, when renovating a space and changing that, that use is chapter 43 specifically says where you are renovating a space greater than 250 square feet, and it's going to be used as a hazardous area, which is defined uh, again in chapter 18, then you have to meet the new chapter criteria, the new occupancy criteria. And the difference in hazardous spaces in a new occupancy and an existing occupancy is that in an existing occupancy, um, I can do a one hour barrier or I can do a smoke partition with an a automatic sprinkler system. Um, in the new chapter, new occupancy chapter, it specifically says that I have to do a one hour barrier and an automatic sprinkler system. So uh, in the biggest area that I see that, that uh, this gets missed is when we've converted our operating rooms um, to a storage room to accommodate uh, new our Da Vinci robots and all of these all this new technology that is coming in uh, to our operating suites. I've seen that actually cited by uh, accrediting organizations um, numerous times.